Let's go back with that forge or that barely beige and get a little bit more of her forehead. I think I missed. And I'm going to use a chisel tip real quick in this frost blue. I think we're going to go with frost blue. And I'm just going to real quick do the background um, in a chisel tip and see how. I don't hate the chisel tips. We're gonna run a, run a line down there. And just go ahead and color over that black because it's not gonna matter with this color. And then start filling her in. Again, Forgive the marker some because um, a lot of times the things turn out streaky. It's not the tool, it's the user. But for the price point, I would still give these a go again. Especially if I was, you know, just using them in coloring books and I was kind of an amateur or an amateur artist, maybe um, somebody on a really strict budget or, you know, maybe your nieces and nephew are getting into art and have asked for a set of alcohol markers, you know, before going and paying $8, $7-$8 a marker on Copics. These might be a nice alternative to spending that kind of money on one marker. And then they could just replace the markers that are going dry. Or as they run out. Because obviously if they run out. Or if they. Or stuff like that. That's probably the ones they're using the most anyway. And might want a nicer set for that purpose but yeah I'm liking these I would get them again what is bleeding through oh her hair <laughs> oh and the 28 okay all right every person out here out there who's good with alcohol markers is probably cringing so hard right now like what are you doing I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. I just like to color. So like color goes on paper. <laughs> one day, one day I'll get better at them. I just got to keep working with them. Right now I'm just testing them out though. I will leave the link to the Amazon below. I am not an affiliate, so you don't have to use that link if you don't want to. I mean, I guess you never have to use the link when people are affiliates, but I'm just saying like, I have also forgot to tell you guys because I thought I had filmed a review on these markers. Um, I thought I had filmed a review on these markers 
when I got them. I did not, I guess. And if I have, it is currently lost footage because I can't find it. Um, I would have sworn I did. I have gotten from the same brand. Hold on. Let me find one. Their water markers, which look like this. And it's from the same company. And I haven't really played a lot with them. I did do, I thought I had filmed a review on them, but yeah. And I, I mean, they seem decent quality and none of them were dried out that I remember anyway. I mean, I guess some of them could be, and I don't remember. I mean, that's highly possible at this point. Let's see. What color do I want her shirt? See, I think that turned out okay. Yeah. I think we're going to, I don't think we've used, yeah, we're going to use this purple on our shirt, I think. purple down here and I think we're gonna call the test run here guys so there we have it most of t-rex gets all the presents um, that's my review of the, let's try it one more time, the La Mooch, Mooch, La Mooch, Mo Mooch, um, trying to throw a D in there because that's what feels natural to me, but that, there's no D in there. Um, twin markers, fine tip, chisel tip, 168 piece, or in my case, 167 piece. That is my review of them, um, and I would give these another shot. I mean, for the money I spent, it's less than a dollar a marker. I'm pretty happy with them. So, until we meet again, live well. Bye, guys.